Happy homebrew everyone, it's Ken from Kennel 606 um, just, just dropping in just for a quick homebrew video this week and it is quick because I think I got most of it off my chest <coughs> excuse my pun um, last couple of homebrew window homebrew Wednesdays plus I told you about the competition wins on the Sunday video so um, firstly can I say um, thank you to all the kind comments that you all sent after I after the video with the wine competition results um, I know it sounds silly but it really means a lot to me I know um, I don't know you all in person but it's just nice isn't it you know what I mean I think we're we're um, we're all part of such a community that when I first started blabbing just doing a video I never thought I'd be part of and I never dreamed of like having 60 plus subscribers or anything like that I just I just did it just to show what I was doing and what I brewed in the week and what it achieved and um, I actually enjoy and I can't wait till the Wednesdays and Thursdays now to watch all your videos um, some long some short I don't care I've learned a lot off them um, I've learned a lot from watching wine videos, cider videos, wine videos, yeah, wine videos going over again. Uh, cider videos, I've learned a lot from Roy Lake, Lakey Boy Cider Reviews. Um, started brewing beers and ales from Brewing with Bill, learned a lot from that. Um, um, I think it's great, I love hearing all your stories and... Um, I suppose you must like hearing my babbling going on every week, even though I just babble for babbling's sake. So, um, there we go. I haven't got a drink, so. Um, popped into Mark's Suspensions this morning and I picked up a load of beers. I picked up a load of all their wheat selection and I picked up all their single hops, which is Amarillo, uh, Sauvignon, Amarillo, Cascade. Oh Christ, uh, I picked them all, uh, Citra, I think there's six of them, the only one they didn't have was Halata, Halatola, Halatola, Halatoya, him as well, um, I had um, a £7 off money voucher, plus they're doing uh, buy uh, six beers, get uh, only pay for five, get the cheapest free, so I think I bought, I don't know, um, 10 or 11 beers, so I went crazy, used my coupon up, Got a couple free, didn't cost that much in the end. Used me winning from the competition on uh, the weekend as well, so it didn't cost me bugger all really. Um, but what I'm doing now is um, I've got a nice hibiscus one down there, which I'm looking forward to because I want to see how sweet hibiscus is. Because I'm gonna do a mead with hibiscus. Um, but what I'm doing, what I'm gonna have, a what I'm gonna crack open. Well, we're talking is I'm going to open a Belgian wheat beer, orange peel, and coriander are added during brewing to bring out bring out the flavour. Um, is there anything special? Ingredients: water, malted barley, wheat, hops, orange peel, coriander yeast. Uh, the Belgian wheat beer. This Belgian wheat beer is brewed by the. Hoya Brewery in Flanders. According to tra tradition, orange peel and coriander are added to the brew to bring out the flavour. As this product is naturally cloudy, serve by pouring into a glass, leaving a little beer in the bottle, then swirl. Oh well, a bit late for that. It's swirled enough anyway, I think. <laughs> oh well. But anyway, what's been going on? That's what I mean. That's what I got to do this wheat beer after I get after the operation. Got to do the wheat beer. So it's only been in the fridge for about half an hour. So um, oh, I'm loving wheat beers at the minute. I'm not brewing them, so I'm going to be brewing them after I get better. But I'll be showing you what I'm brewing as well. I got a few bargains this uh, last couple of days. Well, not bargains, but she'll only nag me when um, she sees it all brewing. So,
Taste of coriander. Holy moly. That's nice. That's nice. No, it's not as nice as the clouded uh, yellow from St Austin Breweries, but it's uh, nice. It's nice. Tasting a little bit of orange on the back now. Whoa, I can taste the uh, cloves. I can taste that cloves now. Yeah. Yeah, taste cloves. And I can taste the coriander. Can't take, taste much of the orange peel, but it's not a bad little point for... For well, I don't know if it's free or it was. Um, it was in the monks of Abs a bunch anyway. But anyway, it's not here for review. Anyway, it's here for drinking. Right. So what's been going on? Right. Um, as you all know, and thank you all for your very kind comments. I'm going in for that bloody operation day after tomorrow. So I've been getting things ready, and it's because I won't be able to drive for the next six weeks. So I've been, excuse me, I've been running around like a blue ass fly, um, doing this and that. Um, uh, putting bottles away, anything like that, so I don't get shouted at when I'm uh, convalescing because I won't be able to lift it. So I've just been doing shit basically. Excuse the wordings, but I have been I have bought a few things on my travels. Um, been to Wilco's. I've got a light, delicate pills now. That's the first thing. Okay. Cooper's Pale Ale Kit. And a Dark Velvet Stout. Right. I've also got Ale Yeast. Uh, a load of wine making little ingredient pots, Camden tablets, citric acid, that sort of thing. Um, brew enhancer kit and some light spray malt and some medium spray malt. Um, the chair's just gone down, so we'll. What I'm thinking about doing is the beers that I bought from Marks and Spencer's today. Um, the Amarillo, Cascade, Citra, uh, all the single, single hop beers. I'm going to see which one I like them, which ones I like the most of. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the hops because I got the hops here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that as a base. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a few demijohns of hot, single hot Pilsner variations. So I might get a gallon of, or a gallon of Cascade, a gallon of Citra, a gallon of uh, whatever, Amarillo, Halatoa, whatever, and just do four, four, four or five different hopped versions of that Pilsner. Just give it a bit of oomph because I think that Pilsner needs it. Because I've got Pilsner, I did that Pilsner kit before. Keep showing it, there we go. And um, I thought it was a bit lame, so I put I think 50 or 60 grams of gold, uh, Goldings into it and it basically changed it from a um, that kind of colour into more of a, a dark ale colour, which is tasting lovely, which it's cracking, so that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, that there, I'm going to put Brewing Answer Kit in with it, and I'm just going to put a single hop dish. I might do two hop dishes. I might do I'll do Citra and Cascade to that. Um, I haven't decided which way round, but I'm going to do one in primary and one in secondary, and I'm going to use that. And that's a lovely bit of it. That could be lovely in the summer. That is. So I'll do that. Um, hang on, excuse me. That Belgian wheat's nice. Um, God, clothes. God, God, it tastes like being a dentist. That's anything against it. Right, this is what I'm going to need your help with, so if you could leave some comments below. Um, I'm doing this stout kit. Um, I want to add vanilla and chocolate. 
Um, I want to really make it really chocolatey and add vanilla. So I'm thinking cocoa nibs and cocoa powder um, and vanilla. Um, I'm thinking about 250 grams of cocoa nibs in primary and 250 grams of cocoa nibs secondary and um, cocoa powder or chocolate or a bar of chocolate in primary. What do you suggest? Um, is 250 grams in each enough or should I put more in if I really want a, choc a really choc chocolatey taste? Also, vanilla, I'm going to use, I'm not going to use um, pods because they're too expensive for what they are. Um, so I'm going to use extract, you know, the thick, the thick bottles, the bottle extract, I think. So I'm thinking of using um, four, four teaspoons. So maybe two in primary and two in secondary. Um, I don't know if that, the vanilla will come through enough. Um, I've not done a chocolate vanilla stout, so I'd love your, I'd love your, um, your help on that one. So how much chocolate really to go in for a really double chocolate stout and vanilla? How much vanilla do you think I should put in? Um, very dark and very hoppy. I just want to make it a little bit sweeter, and with the chocolate and the vanilla, that should do the do the touch so anyway i'm doing those directly after i feel better so i'm doing doing those after i get better straight away um i'm also going to be doing a lot more meads um after that honey honey orange mead did well at the show and i've been drinking it since <laughs> um it's brilliant um I've all st I've got three meads on the go anyway. I've got a strawberry. I've got um, this has been going on for. I've got a blackberry mead going on. That's been going on since December, and I've got a strawberry and raspberry mead going on since December. So that's nearly six months. Um, I've also got a clear show mead, a semi-sweet show mead going on, and I'm gonna look at that. Um, that's crystal clear and um, I'm gonna have a look at that in a couple of months time the strawberry and the blackberry um, I haven't racked them re racked them yet um, if they go down to zero down to nothing or basically they'll come out at 17 and a half and the show mead or the semi-sweet mead excuse me that's 14% the honey orange that was oh, between 12 and 13 so but I'm gonna do some braggots um, I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do a lot I do do about four or five more meads because um, meads are really great guys if you want to do a mead you should do a mead but don't do it with the pack mat caps do a proper mead with the water and just a good honey um, don't skimp on the honey if you're gonna do a mead I know Tesco sell it for 99p and Yes, you can add, if you find a recipe that asks for a kilo of uh, honey, you can put a jar of that in. I think it's 360 for the 99p stuff, or they sell one at £1.68 for 454 five, four grams. Put one of them in, but also on top of it, pick yourself up a nice, nice orange blossom honey as well, or a couple jars of orange blossom honey, um, and it really makes a difference. I know it sounds silly, but it does make a difference. So I'm going to do a braggot, I'm going to do some more meats, um, I might do another sizer, um, and then I'm to the wines, uh, wines for winter, I'm just going to do one wine per month, uh, and just take it from there, because I've got, still got 70 odd bottles, I'm going to send the load out um, to people to have a taste of, because um, I've got the local brew shop, I've got these little dinky little wine bottles now, Instead of always going to use plastic bottles, but if they can get their little dinky little glass bottles, they can look good because you can cork them. So they look the bee's knees, they do. Um, so I'm going to do that. That's what's going to be brewing in the winter months. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to transfer them up to the shed, and I'm going to find the warmest place in the shed and the driest place in the shed to put the wind. I know people see saying you shouldn't and all this, but 
I've had a few bottles up there in the cold the last couple of months and they've been fine so um, and that's what I'm going to do um, um, but but after I've done these three kits I'm then going to do or I might or I'm definitely going to um, I might do two of these kits but I'm going to then do a wheat I've got to do some wheats because I want to do that St Austleberry Clouded Yellow Clone and I want to do a cherry wheat and I want to do a strawberry wheat and I want to do a lemon lemon and lime wheat as well so um, that's what I'll be doing in a few months in a couple of months time but um, very much else to say really I know I've babbled on for 15 minutes um, I hope you're everybody's watched this and who subscribed to me has entered the competition on the competition video um, I must get in there and have a look at that uh, I'll look at that next week when I can't do bugger all. I'll, I'll work it on the laptop. Um, so I hope you've all entered that. Um, if not, enter. It's free. Enter. You get a couple packets of hops and I'll be interested to see what you brew with it. Um, and like I said, thank you very much for the kind comments about the operation and the, the show. And... Um, all being well, I shall give you a quick update next week at some point. I don't know when, um, but I shall give you an update. But um, I hope you all have a good week. Um, this is Ken L six oh six babbling on as ever. But um, please um, enjoy what you're doing. Uh, brew good beer, good wine, good mead. Brew something you haven't brewed before. Um, Go out on a limb. I know all you all grain brewers brew all grain every week and kit brewers brew kits. Why don't you brew something different? Brew a, brew a, brew a turbo cider, a mead, a sizer. Brew a, brew, a, brew a wine kit. Not one you go into your brew shop and buy. Get, find a recipe online and make it. You'll be pleasantly surprised because you just will be. And the summers are coming. Barbecue time is coming. Not all the women want to drink beer. They want to drink wine as well. So this is a good time to start making some wine. It will still be young, but they'll still enjoy it. And it will be the fruits of your own labour. And you won't be paying no five to six pound a bottle. It will be whatever it is for six or twelve bottles. So have a go at brewing something different soon. You never know, you might enjoy it. Not everything's about all grain and extract brewing. But anyway, I'm babbling. So I'll see you next time. Have a good week, everyone. This is Ken, Ken from KenL606 saying see you next time. Bye now.